Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm on site today in Milledgeville, Georgia. The address is 115 Van Ogden Drive, Northeast. I'm looking at a little three bedroom, one bath home that'll be included in our next auction. This is a very familiar floor plan. Maybe you can put an extra half bath in it, increase your value. It's mostly brick, um, except for this area you see right here on the front it has a one car carport and it does have gas utilities you'll need a propane tank seems to be a pretty good house but it needs those usual things to decorate paint clean carpet or clean paint carpet you know what i'm talking about that's what it needs but besides that it looks like it'd be a pretty good house so let's head on inside take a look see what you think i think this will be a good one to buy Real nice little cul-de-sac that it's located on. Okay, I've just stepped inside. Um, I've seen this floor plan dozens of times all over Georgia, South Carolina. I've seen, and it's just a great floor plan. Works out good. You got a family room attached to the kitchen. We've got a good ceiling in this house. We've got good walls. Just need some cleaning, decorating, painting, and. That carpet probably needs to be replaced. All right, let's go to the kitchen. It'll be the same over here. Same deal. Replace the flooring. I believe you can salvage these cabinets. They look pretty good. I uh, don't know a thing about that gas stove, as far as I'm concerned. If you get it and it works, great. If it doesn't, it's all right. You get salvage value for it. Looks like we got a couple of windows cracked right here. Nothing, no big deal but we do need some new flooring. The ceiling's okay in here, probably needs a coat of paint, freshen it up a little bit. I think the whole house with a fresh coat of paint, some new carpet, just make it like new money. Money more paint those cabinets I've, I've seen done and it, it does the good to change the color every now and then. It does have a stainless steel sink. Um, right around here is a little private room for laundry which is nice, it doesn't have a door on it, something you don't have to maintain, get in the way, and kind of light. Um, but again, it looks good. There's one little stain on the ceiling, it looks very old. Could have been from some ice damming or something, but you do need to continue that kitchen flooring in here. All right, just a good little house. Let's go down the hallway. Um, Here's a little heat system here on the, in the wall. I'm pretty sure. I didn't see a unit outside, so and I didn't see evidence of one, so I don't know if this house ever had central air or not. Um, here's another first bedroom. Looks pretty good to me. The walls. Now the ceiling does have one little spot over here in the corner. That'll be on the front of the house. Um, it doesn't look very serious. Could have been from anything. Probably gonna want some new interior doors in this house. Make it look a little better. And some fixtures, maybe. All right, we'll go to the next bedroom. It's right here. Looks like your duct works in the ceiling. That's what I see. A vent. Again, we need some paint in here. Um, walls aren't beat up. Pretty much prep them in a few places, a little mud here and there. Maybe take these shelves down. Carpet, no need to even look at it. I'll show it to you if you want to see it. Nice little closet. There's your carpet. It's an old style carpet. Probably need an interior door or two. All right, this is a third bedroom. This is one that I've uh, seen. Sometimes I'll show you the difference. I'm gonna go over to the other corner. Um, ceiling in here looks fine. Ductwork, probably a light fixture. You have a big closet over here. There's the doorway coming in. And then you have a big closet over here. And I have seen this closet made into a half bath in some of the houses. 
You know, you might could put a tiny shower in there. You need to measure it and see. But that would give you two baths and up the value of your house. Or a half bath would even improve the value. And it would be right here off your master bedroom. There's a punch in the wall there. Nothing. It's going to be a big deal to fix. We probably do need interior doors on this house. All right, let's go do a walk around on the outside. It's in pretty good shape, and, but I want you to see it, and then when you come out here, you can see what you think. Okay, I'm standing here in uh, front of the porch. You know, the trim's in good shape. Maybe a coat of paint on it make it look a little better. Um, even those post, porch posts look fine. Come around here to the garage, carport area, the carport, not the garage. Just some outdoor paint in that little closet it's where the water heater is located. And like I said, it needs a propane tank. A little bit of this wood around here, down on the edge, looks a little rough. You may cover it with vinyl. I see people do that all the time. There's not a lot to talk about here. And uh, it may be this house. I saw where there was a, air, um, a utility building in the backyard. Might have been on the aerial photo or on the tax record. It's not here and there's not one. So you're buying it without that. If you look, uh, that roof is not bad at all. You know, that furnace must be gas because I see a vent and here's a vent for the water heater here. And most of our soffit and face board looks all right, but probably wouldn't hurt to put some paint on it. Or you could wrap it if you wanted to. Just a good solid house. They built a lot of this floor plan and they, and they look nice. Have to rebuild that door under the house. It's uh, falling out. This is the other end looks pretty good with some vinyl on it. This house would really pop. I'm going to show you. Um, this is some of the other houses out here. Um, we're just about two houses from the cul-de-sac. So it looks pretty good. We got a nice big front yard. Sits kind of up on a little knoll here. Just a great little house. It sells at absolute auction to the highest bidder, regardless of price. Okay, we've got some more to look at, so I'm gonna head on that way, but you know this one's available. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up here in Milledgeville. That's our only house in Milledgeville, Georgia. It's a USDA foreclosure, sells at absolute auction, regardless of price. Online auction only at terryhow.com. Do not take bids here at the premises. We will not be here. You can come the day before, inspect the house, look it over any way you want to the day before the bidding ends. It'll be over about four hours for you to uh, make your own judgment as to what you might want to do to it to make it your home. And one last thing before I go, read your contract package. It's very important. Uh, it has all the information in there, the down payment, how to close, everything's in there. If you got some questions after that, give us a call. We're there to help you. We'll walk you through it step by step by step. We want you to be confident when you bid. We want you to be happy when you buy. And we don't want any problems or I didn't know that or I didn't know this. If you read that package, it'll tell you everything about the auction and there won't be any surprises in the end. All right, I'm gonna move along to the next property. I hope this video helps you determine whether you wanna bid or even come look. Uh, I enjoy making them for you. I think it saves time. I think it saves money for everybody. But, you know, I'm not a builder. I'm not an expert. I want you to come out and look at it yourself. But if the video helps, uh, I'm glad to do it. All right, I'll see you at the next house. I appreciate you viewing it, and we'll see you then. Bid online only, terryhow.com.